Yo, what's up, community? Your man, Evil Foot, Metro Manila. <laughs> you know the place. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to like the content if you like it. Bringing you another evil sneaker review, and today we have something special. Uh, this is the Nike Terminator Black and Phantom. As always, music is from my homie Anthony Accurate, who is the illest producer ever. So yeah, I know this is a little bit off of my pivot of buying, you know, the OG colorways of the J or Jordan brand sneakers. Uh, but sometimes you see something and you just want it, right? So this is that little bit of wiggle room I allowed for myself. So it fits. Key down feet today are my Racer Blue J5s. I really dislike this sneaker, but I don't ever wear it. So there you go. And as always, at EvilTShirtClub.com for the rarest, illest, most villainous t-shirts ever. And if you go to Evil T-Shirt Club right now, this shirt is readily available. It's called Destructive. So just a glance at some of the previous releases of the Terminator sneakers. Uh, this, they're starting to whore out this silhouette, which is cool because I, I like it personally. But the Noble Green is something that's definitely on my radar. I'm going to swing back and pick that up when it goes on discount. Uh, there's also a velvet brown color that's not pictured here. I was unable to see that or locate that anywhere in person. But uh, of course, I'll get you an, a, a, a video of it as soon as I do find out where they have stocks. Uh, so pick up here is from Titan22.com. Make sure you check these guys out. Official license retailer. There's my receipt. You know, I keep those things part of my story. Take a look at the sneaker. Wow, super dope. So, you know, this was my my, my uh, consolation prize because I, I, I missed out on every raffle for the black and white uh, 85 cut J1s. You know, it's just crazy. Like, then you saw the resellers posting them, you know, the very next day or whatever at double price. Uh, so whatever, you know, that it is what it is. People got to make a living. But anyway, uh, I was able to just walk, easily walk into the store, pick this sneaker up. This was the last 9.5, I'll be honest about that. So there is a little bit of um, uh, hype around this. And I think most of it just comes from like all of the, the Panda Dunks and all of that stuff in this colorways, you know, being synced up to that. Uh, but the leather here is pretty good. You know, your overlays, your swoosh, your toe cap here on your ankle area as well. All of that's good. And I'll show you what this little tab here on the on the heel tab is for uh, later on. And I just discovered that actually from Instagram. Uh, and then you have your oversized Nike right here. And the midsole is what really calls your attention, right? Uh, so I don't know if I want to call this cell or cream or, or whatever, uh, but it's dope. You know, it's a pre-aged sneaker. I, I personally, I don't have any problems with wearing, you know, pre-aged sneakers. I, and I don't have any problem with, you know, letting them age themselves. It's all good for me. It's all love, right? And you only have Nike on the tab. This sneaker does not have air. Uh, go back and look at that Georgetown video I did for this. Super long laces. This, I was pleased to see that this came with, with an additional sale lace. Uh, the Georgetown sneakers that I got didn't have that. Uh, no shoe tree, just tissue paper, you know, cheaper sneakers. So that's how it goes now. And there you go. Boom, magic. Don't ever let me see you walking down the street doing this. <laughs> I will just continue to walk by and I won't say anything, but still. Just know that you, sir, are Cornbalio, captain of corn. So yeah, 9.5 is the size. These run true to size. Uh, your Nike stamp on the insole. Like I said, there's no, no air bubble or anything like that in these sneakers. Um, and I tried to pull this guy out, but it was super glued in there. There's some type of cotton. And there's your tongue. See, it's really cushy. Uh, and these sneakers really do provide adequate ankle support um, if you w wear them appropriately. <laughs> of course, I don't lace mine up, so that, you know, it is what it is. Uh, but if you're doing like deadlifts or anything like in the gym, this is perfect for that because there's no Nike air bubble or anything like this gives you like that flat uh, to the ground feel like a pair of uh, Chuck Taylor Converse, something like that. Uh, so here you go. I went ahead and I swapped in the uh, cell lace. What do you guys think? I think I like this a lot better. Plus, it definitely removes me from like perceiving this, that perception of a panda type of look. And, you know, I'm just not with that at all. My, my personal opinion, right? Clean sneaker, you know, it's like I'd even say the white looks a little more off white. And, they, and I guess they're calling it Phantom. So whatever. I'm somewhat colorblind. If you follow the videos, you already know this looks black and white to me. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, what do you think about the laces? Would you stay with the black uh, or would you go over, over here with the uh, the cell laces? 
both look cool actually so yeah i did want to compare this up to the uh, lost and found j1 because these are both like pre-age looking sneakers uh and you can just kind of see where they went a little overkill with the terminator right uh it's still dope both of the sneakers are dope again like i said i don't have any problem with them and the, the height is the same and here's the uh, OG colorways. I did a full video for this. This gives you the full history of the Terminator and you know it's relevant to the sneaker culture. So uh, please do give yourself, a, I'll leave a link here in the top right hand corner. But if you wanna learn, uh, just go check that out. And you can see what this is what it looks like when it creases. So not, not too bad, right? So we're doing like a leather quality check on the uh, OG colorways versus this black and white Phantom. And I, I definitely would say, but both of them have decent leather, but the Phantom is a lot. The black and white, ugh. the black and Phantom definitely has uh, the winner of the, uh, the leather test. So here we go, fully laced up and sell both sneakers. I cannot wait to wear these. Uh, I do have a flight to catch tomorrow, and I think I'm just gonna wear these to the airport. So what do you think? Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to like the content if you like it. Till next time. Peace.